Oh, man, look at you guys. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, I think you're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm a Lone Star fan. I don't know about y'all. Do we have any Lone Star fans in the house? You by God right, we do. You darn right. Well, that's great, man. Shoot you out. Give up for Randy for coming up here and doing introductions up in <laughs> So I got a little carried away. <laughs> yeah, Randy, yeah, you got the radio station. I don't know what it is, but it, or some evil 97.5 rocking evil rock, evil shark claw. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm in the big city now. I'm from Arkansas. That's the part he didn't tell you. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Whee! Whee! There you go. <laughs> Look at y'all. Uh-uh, don't even thank you. Don't even go there. Yeah, y'all got cool radio stations here. I was listening, man. Y'all got the, y'all giving away like cool stuff and you got cool stations and you know, like you're giving away like Harleys and stuff like that. <laughs> I guarantee you come to Arkansas, we're not giving away no Harleys, our radio stations. <laughs> we'll give away a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, the Southern Collar calling in, you're going to get a free pack of hot dogs. <laughs> it takes seven months to give away a pack of hot dogs in Arkansas. <laughs> and y'all giving away good stuff, man. <laughs> 95, the Eagle rocking. <laughs> you guys got cool stations. Isn't it funny how the radio stations try to scare you with their mascot, you know? <laughs> 94, 5, the Eagle Claw Sharp Stuff. Like, that's cool. In Arkansas, it ain't like that. It's more like 94.5, <laughs> the roly poly. 97.2, the graph hopper. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I'm glad to be here. Look at this beautiful theater y'all got here. Look at this, man. Yeah, I got the balconies. I'm waiting for those two old guys from the Muppet Show to start yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy right here. Yeah. He ain't that just funny, don't he? Win! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna get ran over by a golf cart later. <laughs> Y'all got some golf carts in this town, I'm not gonna lie to you. Y'all gonna have to start a new show called Pimp My Golf Cart. Yo, 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 what up, dog and everything? My name is Tyrone, and we pimping the golf cart today. Yeah, 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 2020 twins up in there, you know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah, we got all kind of LCD monitors and a smoothie machine in the back, fool. Yeah. Y'all, I even hear y'all got a golf cart parade. Y'all must have been really excited when they came out with the car. You mean they make it in a bigger one? Yay! Y'all think I'm weird. Look at you judging me. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm going to tell you something. Country fans are awesome. Y'all are the best. And Lone Star fans are even better. Y'all do, because I've been to some rock shows, and y'all know when to sit down and shut up. Y'all tell each other, like, hey, sit down. Song's over. Sit down. Y'all do, you know you're good, man. You're nice and good, the nice people behind you. You're never gonna find a mosh pit at a Lone Star concert, that's for sure, you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, hey, Joe, Bob, you and me, let's do some stage diving. It's a sippy cup of milk song, woo! Swinging it, people. <laughs> Move that golf cart. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah, I came all the way from Arkansas and I'm glad to be here. I'm a Originally, I have 20 years ago, I, I'm, I'm from uh, San Diego. Was, yeah, <laughs> what's up? No, it's over now. People, you know, when you, you know how you try to tell people you're from a cool place? You know, yeah, I'm from San Diego. <laughs> Until they ask how many years it's been? 20. <laughs> it's like telling somebody you got a Mercedes. You know, yeah, we got a Mercedes Benz. What do you care? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, sure, it's a Mercedes. Yeah, what year is it? <laughs> 74 model. <laughs> You look like an idiot. So I don't claim uh, San Diego, it's Arkansas. Been there for a long time, so. And we're doing some different stuff in Arkansas. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you wanna talk about that, don't you? Don't even say it. We got a good thing going on there. <laughs> it's all right. 
<laughs> yeah, we're doing some, we're doing the Civil War reenactment. You guys do that here, Civil War reenactment? There's four of you, that's got to be a whole lot of darn fun right there, don't it? Hey, get your golf cart and your pitchfork. We're going to do Civil War reenactment. <laughs> yeah, we do it every year in Arkansas, every year. And we lose that son of a gun every single year. Oh, y'all think it's funny. You try to explain to all your stupid family members that you're supposed to lose the Civil War. They don't understand. They got GEDs, ma'am. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, they're proud. It's like, it's a GED. It's an acronym, and I got one of them. Now, shut up. They get mad every year, man. I get, they get really fast. I got this one bronco that gets mad every year. Brunkel. That's your brother and your uncle. Don't act like y'all ain't got no Brunkel. <laughs> y'all, I've been to Yucca Valley. Y'all got some Brunkel, honey. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I guarantee you. I went to Yucca Valley. I was just minding my own business trying to pump gas in my car, you know? I was like bumping gas. This guy's got, hey, look at me. Hey, stupid, look over here. Look, hey, make it, get your big old dip. Hit your finger on the skull can and make it pop. You don't know nothing about that, do you? I ought to whoop you right now. You hear me? I was like, I'm sorry, Reverend. I'll just be moving on if you don't mind. <laughs> Don't go there with any shiny stuff on your car, neither. They don't like shiny stuff over there. <laughs> you know, like the automatic lights that go on and off, but you know they're going to go off in about 30 seconds, but there's always that poor dumb guy that wants to remind you at the mall, hey, you left your lights on. No, I'm right now. Go ahead. No, I'm right now. Go ahead and turn them off, stupid. Do it right now. Right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Turn them off, stupid. I'm from Yucca Valley. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're automatic, they have a switch on. You shut your mouth, what are you possessed by witches or something? Casting demon spells on your car? We don't, my truck don't do that in Yucca Valley and you ain't gonna do it here. Come on, methamphetamine, anyway. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna get beat up, aren't I? It's gonna be a golf cart and a guy from Yucca Valley. Just gonna... I'm getting back to my Brunkel, <laughs> the old Civil War deal. He wanted to win bad. My, my Brunkel wanted to win the Civil War so bad, he started bringing things to the reenactment they didn't have in the Civil War, like a semi-automatic 9mm pistol. <laughs> oh, we're going to win this thing this year, boys, I guarantee you. Y'all can fake dead if you want to, but I got bullets this year. I would run if I were you. We had to kick him out. I had to do it. I was like, Joe, you take those infrared goggles in that tank and you get the heck out of here. He's like, you're going to see me again. I guarantee it right now. He wasn't kidding either. Like the next year, we're all sitting around waiting for the reenactment to start. All of a sudden, up in the air, we heard this. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> that was Brunkle Joe. We're going to win this thing this year. <laughs> F-16 Discovery Wings Channel. You boys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for those of you that are not sure if you have a Bronco, but you don't want, or maybe you don't want to admit it, and you're from Yucca Valley, but <laughs> I've been selling these shirts all over the country, and I'll be signing them after the show. It's uh, Who's Your Bronco? <laughs> you know, Who's Your Bronco? Who's Your Daddy? Who's Your Sister? You don't have any idea, so get a shirt. <laughs> During the break, I'll be signing those. I got CDs and the whole deal. Who's your Brunkle? Pick one up. Anyway, no more QVC. That's enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your Brunkle? I wanted to dress up for you guys. You know, I was going to go to the mall and get me some new stuff. Mm -mm. No, I know. This isn't what I bought. I took it all back. I found out there's certain stores in the mall. If you're close to 30, you're not supposed to be in those stores. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch, boys, you just save your money. I walked into Abercrombie and those guys looked at me like I was looking for directions to the food court. <laughs> Excuse me, do you need something? <laughs> no, 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 no,
Get yourself a remote control car or a Tandy computer. <laughs> bye bye. I didn't care. I bought my clothes. You know what messed me up in that store was the music in the store. How many people walked by Abercrombie and heard the bass pumping out of that deal, you know? You cannot help feel like it's 1989 again. You know, I walked in there, it was like, <laughs> I was like, well, we getting ready to go shopping, woo! I walked in the store, it was like, <laughs> my baby don't. <laughs> like, yeah, woo! Hey, you give me those amber crumpy bell-bottom corduroy pants, give me that. And give me that big wrinkled up, crinkled up, stupid looking turtleneck. Woo! And give me that big puff daddy down comforter, paisley, stupid looking coat. <laughs> then you get it out of the store and there's no more music. <laughs> Just you and your stupid clothes. <laughs> Holy moly, I've got hip hugger jeans on and a thong. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Heck, I didn't care. <laughs> you gotta try it. You know. Not the thong, ma'am. That ain't right. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Yeah. I got pulled over there at the, at the mall right there in the food court. Yeah, you, apparently you guys got those crack team of mall security agents. Oh, those some tough guys right there. Those are the ones you want to send over to Afghanistan right now. <laughs> you know, the mall security guys, you know, the guys with the little white ranger pickups with the yellow lights on top of them. <laughs> I'm mall security, and you didn't take your tray back to the food court. <laughs> and I'm going to write you a post-it note. <laughs> what color do you want? I've got yellow, pink, blue. <laughs> Apparently, you are supposed to take your tray back because I got pulled over. <laughs> but this time, I felt like I was back in Mayberry, you know? Because <laughs> this guy just rolled up on me. He was totally different. He's like, that's right. <laughs> and I'm told time and time again, take the tray back to the food court. <laughs> I got a bullet right here. I'll do it right now, man. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if y'all had cable. <laughs> We're from Yucca Valley. What are you talking about, cable? We got a radio. <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> I like to shop. I have to shop now because when I was a kid, man, I got the worst. I tell you what, my mom did me wrong. You know, when you're younger, you're in school, you know, you want to get along with everybody. You beg your mom. I begged my mom for a polo shirt. Begged her. I was like, Mom, let me fit in just one time. I mean, I'm in the remedial classes. I mean, for God's sake, Mom, give me a shirt with a polo on it. She's like, polo schmolo. I'll go to Walmart and get some puff paint and white t-shirts. I'll make you a polo, stupid. <laughs> I got my shirt. I'm like, Mom, I don't, that don't say polo. It says Paul. That's a giraffe on a pogo stick. Just things like that, like she wouldn't buy me the big box of crayons in school, you know, the one with 180,000 crayons in it, and I had the little box of 25. I should have just hung it up right there in the third grade, you know what I mean? Because it was only five more bucks for the big box. Always got that Asian kid, he's got the sharpener, LCD screens coming out, smoothie machine attached to it. I'm sitting over there with broken colors I'm trying to hold together between the paper and with a color. I mean, really, if you add it up, I wasn't that far from being popular if she just would have splurged a little bit. My whole life, I'm about a dollar, about thirty-six fifty from being popular, you know what I mean? But somebody's got to pay the price. <laughs> mm. So anyway, good to be here, good to be here with y'all. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. You bet you. I heard a guy say you bet. <laughs> get, get her done, wrong show, ma'am, that ain't me. <laughs> I'd like to have some royalties from that one right there, though. Get her done. Oh, anyway, I just said it. I'm in trouble. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, driving in. It's tough driving. I had to drive up here, over here, over here, whatever, you know. <laughs> Truck stops aren't a place you want to visit at 2 in the morning. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Don't, yeah, they got that whole separate, it's a whole different lifestyle. If you don't have a semi-truck, you better, you better fake like you got one. 
Oh, you got a big rig? Yeah, it's a big old Peter bed over there. You don't want to see it. <laughs> it's just a big old Pete. <laughs> don't beat me up, please. <laughs> they got that whole bathroom thing where they got in the, in the truck stop. It, 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 it says uh, professional drivers only. I'm thinking to myself, heck, I drove here. <laughs> I got a license. <laughs> what's there going to be, a pop quiz at the urinal? Just me and Dale Jarrett. Hey, Dale, what's up? <laughs> what's the question? I'm not professional. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like you. <laughs> That's great. I got some advice. You guys like to go country dancing? You got some of that country dancing y'all do here? I went to this one place last time I was here. They had the two-step Tuesday somewhere or some casino. Y'all been out there? Yeah. I like you, Mimi. <laughs> Yucca Valley. She's yelling. You don't know what she's saying. Yum 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 yum. she me me she me me she me 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 she me 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 she me 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 me. What's she say? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you go to a country bar, I got some advice for you guys. If you go to a country bar, you, you drive a pickup truck. Yeah, don't make the mistake I made. I drove, a, I drove my little Toyota Tercel Crimson Rat. Oh, my God. <laughs> you will get your butt whipped. You hear me? You drive a truck. I don't care if you got to rent it. Do it. I don't care. They'll be, what kind of truck you got, Megan? <laughs> well, it's a U-Haul, stupid. I'll move all your stuff. You hear me? That's right, I'll move all your mattresses and all your washer and dryer. <laughs> I made the mistake, man. I, I tell you what, I told this old boy in the parking lot, I was just trying to get along, you know, and I was like, hey, that's a nice truck you got right there. We'll see you inside. <laughs> he looked at me like I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. He's like, excuse me, boy. Apparently, you don't know nothing about trucks, son. I'm from Yucca Valley, and I built that myself. You hear me? That ain't no regular truck. That right there is a Ford. Four by four with the 454 with the four wheel drive with the four by four with the four wheel drive with a hundred of the I can't mold. I'm out of here, folks. My name is Jason Robinson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the show.